Hey, it's Ocean and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be doing another overview of the Winbrook save file. It has been recently updated and actually means more to me now than it ever did before because I actually got the opportunity to make a family for this save. So huge shout out to the creator Winbrook. You are amazingly talented and I just, I feel so honored. If you want to check out the first review that I did of this save file, feel free to do that but a lot of things have changed in the original save that it's totally worth looking at especially if you've never seen this save file before or if you didn't know that there was an update this is winbrook 2.0 you can instantly see that a lot of the home styles have changed the colors this is my favorite street of Winbrook when you enter the save it is actually snowing because this save file is based off of Michigan you know that midwestern area is that mis midwestern <laughs> but the Michigan area a lot of people have said it it's reminded them of like Detroit it's reminded them of certain places in Chicago even so you know Illinois so this is just a realistic save file to me I feel like all the homes even where I am I've seen the style of home before and it's very reminiscent of that and so I love it but I want to start off with the family that I made and the home that Winbrook specifically created for this family this is the West Falls I have a creative sim on them and here is their home now I know Winbrook specifically made it for them because of the way that it was decorated so first of all I love the way that Winbrook decorates all of their homes and we will see this as we continue on in the save but look at how clean and nice that it is the mom here Tiffany Westfall is actually in the candle making business tiffany is just getting her feet off the ground so like all of this is in the living room which makes so much sense because she has nowhere else to put it it's just that little attention to detail without looking too cluttered that i just love the most the kids rooms are upstairs here we have a small bathroom this is chance's room the teenager and i love the like tv on the wall and everything he has his own desk he loves gaming if you watch the creative sim you'll know that the way this is decorated just totally matches the sim and here is trent and miles's room which i love how it's decorated i love the colors i love the little baby yoda the little starship whatever you call that thing the figures the youngest son is very imaginative and oh my god look at this i didn't even know we had this this is a cc free save file so this family is cc free also i just want to show you all the west falls first i really love their home and the original family and home that was here i will miss you but i must say i love my west falls here we are on the map screen and generally the world looks somewhat the same like the bank is still here the rec center the library but there are new families like the pena rodriguez rodriguez family over here by crawdad quarter there actually used to be a gym which is now a boutique the blossom boutique by the castillo family which i'm going to take a look into so this is the Castillo family, the family that owns the boutique at Willow Creek. And look at their home. It brought me here and I'm glad it did because this is what I mean by loving Winbrook's style. I love the way that these homes are reminiscent to the homes that I see in my life. Long, one-story ranch style homes and it's it's amazing to see that translated in the sims 4 sometimes homes like this can't be translated in the game the way that you see it in real life so in the next portion of this video i will be talking about new crest because that is why i have to show you this save new crest has finally been completed and magnolia promenade has actually has some updates too so i'm really excited but here i just want to show you the castillo family home and as you can see, everything is very well thought out and organized. It is the perfect livable space. So not only is Winbrook just a great builder in general, like they have a good eye for decor and where it should be, how to make things look lived in, but not too cluttered. That is my style. I love the colors and everything. It just looks like a realistic home. But I do want to visit the boutique just to see what it looks like Um and since this family does own the boutique and it is new in Willow Creek, here is the Blossom Boutique and I love it. It just looks like a little, little, little tiny shop. It's basically selling gardening type things. We have some gnomes, some planter pots. Look at the office, the little, the little tiny office. Blossom Boutique. I really love this. How, how fun would this be to just play this out? 
like open for business what do y'all want to buy i really love the details in this city with the use of tool mod like the little poles here and this street is just it looks amazing like the little corner store the boutique the laundry mat the diner this is actually a diner coming up here so i think you all would love this safe file we could be here all day looking at everything. So here's an employee, Xavier. So this sim is actually created by Sims on the Rope, I believe. They added some Sims on the Rope townies. There are new things in Willow Creek. Definitely check those out. But we're going to head over to Newcrest because this is where I'm so excited. So I want to visit the starter home that's in Newcrest because I feel like we always need to start our homes wherever we go to move in. So I'll be showing you this home. But if you want to see the inside of this home, it is so beautiful. I recently did a mod review and this is the home that i did it in and it is so gorgeous so please check that out i will link it at the end of this video but here's the starter home i want you to take a look at and again everything is so realistically done it looks like a really tiny home you even have a little backyard space but when you go inside it's actually kind of spacious for a starter winbrook is so good at home layouts where you have enough space mind you this is a starter but you have two bedrooms and you have this nice big bathroom, a spacious kitchen, which you could fit a little dining table in. And then here are the rooms. I think um, Winbrook forgot to put carpet or whatever kind of floor here, but I'm just filling it in just so you get an idea. Look how big this space is. So a two bedroom starter, it is literally only 19,678 simoleons. That is awesome to start off a legacy or something. And then we have a little basement area how we have a basement how did they fit that in it's right here on the side here's another family the simmons family and oh my goodness everyone has to go to work everyone has to go to school <laughs> but i just wanted to show you all how beautiful these homes are this is like my dream home i know it probably sounds crazy because a lot of people are like oh my god i want a big mansion i want a ranch style home because it's very common where I live and I love one story uh, homes. I really don't like when homes have upstairs. <laughs> I grew up in a home with stairs and I just hate it. I wanted to show you all this because I know like a lot of the homes are very clean and white lines, but here we have a lot of color. I focus more on the builds and they save rather than the families because I just feel like the builds and the style of them and the way that everything's placed makes it so that I can kind of come in and make this world. Like I'm in the process right now of kind of editing it slightly so that I can play my current household here. You've seen them before but i just haven't played with them because i've been waiting for the new crest update you kind of got the gist of how the homes look over there let's go over to ridgeline drive i want to see a family i haven't seen yet in a bustling household of five trinity cameron roberts amir and lexi are young professionals with diverse ambitions trinity excels in business cameron dreams of botany robert thrives in engineering amir surveys urban life and lexi aspires to be an olympian together they form a driven multi-talented family where their passions and dreams blend harmoniously creating a home filled with ambition and inspiration wow that is like a sitcom series or something <laughs> i like that all the sims have to go to work trinity is a senior manager cameron is a plant nerd robert is an expert engineer and amir is an urban surveyor and then lexi is a minor leaguer they all have prestigious careers and they all have skills too that's definitely worth mentioning. Uh oh. Okay. I don't just play it safe. I don't want anyone to lose their job. All of these Sims have skills. I love how they have likes and dislikes here. Like Amir has so many. He's actually a coffee fanatic as well. And wow. So they even include lifestyle. So that's worth mentioning that the family itself is pretty detailed. I do wonder if the other families are like this too. But this is a great indication that it will feel like these Sims are fleshed out if you happen to meet these Sims and become their friend. They actually have relationships with each other somewhat. Well, at least Lexi has a good relationship with Trinity. The rest of the Sims could probably be a little bit better. But I like that. And then we are also friends with some girl named Kristen. So that's cool but i think it's worth mentioning that this part of the save i really love because there are these plain looking homes they're all brick houses and again realism translated in the game beautifully i think this is just absolutely beautiful so they do share a home this isn't like an apartment style thing they do all share a home whoa look at the kitchen it's so modern inside i love that and then look at the art room 
and then up here we do have well we have a big bedroom this looks like a house for a reality tv show uh sure <laughs> oops i'm not gonna save this save so i wonder whose bed is who okay good so the beds are assigned because i'm like whose bed is whose this is trinity's and this is lexi's no wonder trinity and lexi are actually closer they share the same room this is just an extra okay amir stays here this is like a reality tv show in my eyes like i feel like this could totally be a reality tv tv show like Terrace house or the real world <laughs> i love the way this is styled everyone's ambitious who can get a promotion first like young successful young adults i love this that to me is just so detailed i love this oh, look at this house next to us look at their little sunroom i wanted to visit the home next to this one and this is kevin schroeder and pamela schroeder and they look so adorable look at their little faces and they have lots of traits and likes and dislikes they don't have any lifestyles though i take that back kevin actually is a workaholic and co coffee fanatic lifestyle and they do have skills as well i think their home is really cool because it's very very historical looking this creeps me out because they don't have kids but they do have this like room here <laughs> let me go ahead and turn on their lights in their home and so you can see look at this I swear, I see so many packs blended in to look like it's just one pack. Like, I see horse ranch. I see a bunch of kids. I see so much that just looks so good together. Cottage living. Like, get famous. Look at the kitchen. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty. <laughs> I am experiencing this for the first time with you, so that's why I'm just like, oh my god and then here's a little greenhouse so obviously i want to check out some of the community lots over in new christ now you know this gives us some things to do we have this section of builds and it just it's like the perfect downtown area we have some vending machines here your sims get hungry like look at the back of this looks like people came in to work anyway when i drop the walls here we have the gym which looks so cool <laughs> like it's all blue lights and it really really looks cool so when you come in here we have a, is this a bathroom a little bathroom we have treadmills but here you can go downstairs where you have the rock climbing machine the other equipment and the showers this looks so cool <laughs> It looks so intense. It's like a nightclub gym. <laughs> I love it. I feel like you can really focus and work out here. And then we go next door to a generic lot, which again, these two buildings are empty, which makes me want to dress them up and decor, decor, decorate them because I can make it whatever I want. It's a generic lot. Anyway, so it looks like upstairs on this lot, we do have a little mini apartment going on here which is kind of cool especially if you could own a business down here Ooh, this looks like an office for like a photography place or magazine place it looks like a place of work or business kind of like how i love to go out when i'm using the freelance career i'd probably come here to work on some programming or writing gigs this looks cool i actually kind of like this with the mini fridge you have the art thing right here oh yeah i like this and it's a generic lot so you can just visit it and do what you want i want to visit these two lots but i also also want to note that there's a retail lot and a restaurant that the schroeders own as well these people must be rich all right let's see what this is about this is the retail lot this retail store is actually a furniture store oh that's awesome so you come here get you some furniture here's the upstairs gosh this reminds me of going into like grand furniture value city and <laughs> shopping for a little set oh i love how the sets are together it looks like a furniture warehouse kind of thing have you all ever visited one of those oh look at the little office oh, i love that little workspace for the for the uh, furniture owner i love this or the store owner furniture owner look at the rundown bathroom the mats all the way over here <laughs> i love this Ooh, here's behind the counter where they probably had to put some items back and oh god that looks so realistic. They've probably been in business for years. <laughs> it's like, yeah, go down to Schroeder's and get you a nice little living room set. Like, I could totally imagine that. Oh, look at this little platform, little display. It makes you want to, like, buy something. All the furniture options. And then over here, ooh, we have, like, a nice little hip thrift store. This is, this is like, a thrift store, I think. 
I love that. Look at this. Oh, look at the use of the ceiling. Look at that. That's so cool. The ceiling paint. And I, I love that so much. I can just hear the music in this place. Look at the bikes in the back, the candles. Wow, this looks so cool. I would love to shop here. These look like dressing rooms back here almost, you know? Oh, they are. And then lastly, I want to check out the Schroeder's restaurant. I think this is the Schroeder's restaurant because here this looks more like a Chinese restaurant um, just because of the decor on the outside. But I love this because let's let's just look at this first. If you've ever walked into a Chinese restaurant, like you go in, it's like ding, and you go order your food. Like, and that food, it's so bomb. Wait, what? This is... they. Winbrook put the boba on the counter here. That is so cool. But yeah, you go in. You don't typically eat in. Like, I typically just get the food and go. When you go to a Chinese restaurant like this, sometimes it's not, like, authentic. It's just, like, American version of Chinese food. They have to, like, dumb down the flavors for us, even though I want real Chinese food. But it's it has a vibe to it. And what I love is that Winbrook put in the saw. So this will open up and we can get the food from here. But um, I love it. And the next door we have the schroeder's restaurant one thing that's making my eyes just go like oh i love this so much is the way that the seating is lined up i'm imagining my sims coming here and me not having trouble deciding where to sit and there being ample enough seating i like i'm like the colors and the lines of everything i don't know i'm just that person the lines and everything it's just aesthetically just pleasing like i am so oh I just love this and again painted ceilings i love the way that this looks it's so good it's so pretty <laughs> it's so pretty i love it like i just want to bring my families here fitting two restaurants in one lot that look completely different from each other is wild look everything looks nice and neat out here but that kitchen baby that kitchen <laughs> that kitchen a little dirty <laughs> they've been around the block for some years now you know no i'm joking but i love how it's not all perfect back here you know um because sometimes you can clean a kitchen and this stain right here has been here since 1976 you know like i like that i like that i think that's so nice and lastly i'm going to show you kind of what's in progress and magnolia promenade so we have what looks like a diner it says coming soon coming soon these say they're residential because um they haven't been switched to what they're supposed to be here's the cafe which is incomplete it says coming soon here is sunset skating rink so i want to visit that first I don't know if you all have been to a skating rink, but a lot of the times where I am, they're always very old <laughs> looking and uh, they just have that late 80s nostalgic look to them. And some of them get um, taken down by the city. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen a skating rink in so long, but they all have the same vibe and look to it and this is what i mean horrible carpet i love it so much horrible carpet look you go in check in get your skates we got the look we have the lockers back here to get you some skates um we have the little the chairs on the side i'm telling you it gives you 80s vibes it's so like i needed this when i was doing my ramona lp if you are a true wavy baby you know that lp look we even have like a little place for some food <laughs> And then over here, we have the bathrooms. Coming upstairs, we have a gaming area, which is so fun. Look at all the arcade games that we can play. A photo booth. Come on. This is like a date night place. Look at the panel in the bathroom with the horrible linoleum floors. Like, this is what I mean. You can win some prizes here with another photo booth. Look at this. It is so legit. I'm telling you, Winbrook has really captivated their, their vision perfectly like i feel like i know exactly just what era this is in and the vibe of it all like it's so good and then i want to show you uh the lot next to it it does say coming soon it's supposed to be a cafe for right now this is probably going to be the cafe place where you see the coffee and then here i see some little music notes so this might actually become a music store i love this because it's unfinished but you can already see the vision like you can already see where winbrook is taking it this is a lot that's coming soon also it actually looks like a drive through so when you come around it looks like if we did have cars they'd come around this way and go boop all right pick up your order <laughs> it looks so good i love it looks like a little rallies or something or oh i love this but yeah it's unfinished you can see it's kind of working it out getting it together and this lot also i believe is supposed to be a retail lot but or a 
bar but it is unfinished as well but i love seeing this work like i love seeing winbrook in the midst of something because again you can see the vision and it's nice to see it bare boned and see it that see the after product when they're all done and that is winbrook 2.0 i didn't go over every single change in this save file i didn't go over every single family but it's totally worth giving it a look and checking it out i am so excited to play in it again like i have a current household that i'm working on just for me just for me because this fits my vibe like i say i'm kind of like an indie core life is strange core type of person it really fits my vibe and i really just want to play here just for myself you know and hopefully show you my current household if i can but i hope you all enjoyed this if you did please don't forget to like comment subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you in the next video peace out